praise be to God on this glorious day. I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country Free. We're going to finish up Razor Ridge today, starting with the best level of them all. And by that, I mean the best level in, Ropey, uh, in uh, Razor Ridge. They saved the best for last, and it's Ropey Rumpus. It's another Old West level. Much better than your average Old West level, because a lot of horizontal ropes, and it's not a huge vertical level like the, the other ones are. It's mostly a horizontal level. Also, look at that background. First off, bonus barrel over there. You're probably wondering how we can get that. Well, it's tough. Hug the wall over here. And just like that, we can blow up that part of the wall and just hit the bonus barrel. It's a relatively easy bonus barrel once you know where the safe spots are for all the buzzers. But yeah, as you can see, this is mostly a going back and forth level and not a going up level. Which I appreciate. Ouch. GBA's scr uh, screen is longer horizontally than vertically, so that really does help. Oh, went too slow. Ropey Rumpus is really one of my favorite levels in Donkey Kong Country 3, though. It does not make up for the rest of Razor Ridge. But it is a very fun level in and of itself. There's really just one part of this level that I find incredibly annoying, and we'll get to that at the end. <laughs> Aw man! Kitty Kong, you got too big of a hitbox. One thing I want to check out, if we bring both columns back to the beginning, can we team throw to get something? Okay, I couldn't remember if you could team throw to like an invisible barrel cannon to get the coin or something. Not sure what mechanical bees are doing in an Old West environment, but good for them, I guess. Alright, checkpoint barrel. Nice. Always be on your lookout for the coin. Gotta be around here somewhere. I thought there'd be something over there. Ouch. I thought the coin might have been down there. Guess not. Alright, that just launches me back up. There he is. I knew he was around here somewhere. Take that. Okay. I know where the last bonus barrel is. That's the annoying part of the level. 
Tien. All right. Yep. Do not let Perry die. It's very bad luck to let Perry die. And yeah, Perry gives you the last bonus barrel. Hope you get it in one go. Why is it like all the annoying to reach bonus barrels are like collect with the bananas bonuses? Darn it! Should have waited. I kind of miss the original Donkey Kong Country 1 bonus barrels where it's just, there's a ton of prizes inside, get them. And if you have to climb back for all this, well, let's just say the odds are not on your side that you're going to get that. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty easy to keep Perry alive and reach the sign, but if you miss the bonus barrel, which is, if you fail the bonus barrel, then well... You're probably not getting the prize. Oop! Oh, I, just, I just remembered what that was when it was too late. Bravo! Let's go on a rumpy rumpus, everybody. Kitty Kong's inviting you all to a rumpy rumpus today. Let's see how easy it is to keep Harry alive with Kitty Kong as opposed to Dixie Kong. Pretty easy. All right. That was just incredible. There we go. That's a much safer way back to Perry. Alright, I'm going to get this. Alright. Keys just don't get greedy. Like that. Got lots of time, so I'll just take it slow, nice and easy. There we go. Thank goodness. I do still like Ropey Rumpus, but that bonus barrel can be quite annoying. All right. So now it's time for the boss, and if you were playing uh, the Super Nintendo version, this is where you fight Barbos, the giant lurchin. However, because if he better fit Pacifica, the boss is instead a new boss ex made explicitly for the GBA version, Croctopus Crush. And wow, this thing does not look li like it belongs in the game at all. And we get the awesome boss song again. So a bomb's going to appear, what you need to do is jump to make it grab the bomb. Watch out, the bomb's explosion can hurt you just as much as it can hurt him. Seriously, this fiend is really, really weird. Like, it doesn't fit the art style of the rest of the game. 
Also, what the heck even is it? Also, I'm pretty sure the bomb can hurt me just by appearing. Also, Kitty Cullen is pretty much worthless for this fight. Dixie's ponytail twirl is like a pretty much required for this battle, boss battle. <sighs> its hitboxes are gigantic! There we go. Yep. See, the explosion hurt me just as much. Wow, wow, wow. Phew. There we go. Alright, Kitty Kong can still do this battle, it's just much harder for him. Also, that is some uh, very toxic water we got going over there. And yeah, the bombs can detonate prematurely. Cool. He's almost down. Now he's really angry. And unless I'm mistaken, yes, this time now, two of his tentacles will always move, so... Twice the hitboxes to worry about, and the bombs detonate almost immediately. So stick with- just stick to the middle platform. And I guess he grabbed one of the bombs as soon as it appeared. Okay, that works. <laughs> I was gonna say the key is stick to the middle platform, that way you can easily jump to the safe platform. And because he had because he had two arms going out at once, it was easier for him to grab the bomb. Cool. There you go, Dixie, another obstacle out of the way. There are far too many boss fights in these games nowadays. I'm just glad I've retired. That must be it now. I've been following you around for hours. And there we go. Razor Ridge is complete. That is a weird boss, and that is a that and that boss fight ended very suddenly. Oh, also, we're going back to Barter's Swap Shop, hopefully to get our mirror back. Hey Dixie, or hey Dixie, do you want your mirror back? Well, it is mine. Well, if you want it back, then it's gonna cost you. That's right, ten coins. The beauty doesn't come cheap, you know. Still want it? You had. <sighs> yeah, you swindler. Well, okay, I was getting bored of being so neat and tidy anyway. What the heck? He sold my own mirror back to me. Granted, I did not give his wrench back, but it wasn't his wrench to begin with. Is that guy Raffish Ralph? He sure sounds like it. Anyways, time for the last world of the game, Chaos Core. First level is probably... this may very well be my favorite level in the game. The Conveyor Rope Clash. So this introduces a new level. The Rainforest level. And now Spinies are rolling at us and they're completely invincible. So avoid them. Main gimmick of this level, we've got these conveyor ropes. They're horizontal ropes that push you in one direction. Also, this song, it's like environmental noises for like a minute, and then it becomes an amazing rendition of the main DK theme. So just give it time. Alright. This is a pretty fun and easy level for the very first level of the last world. Oh. Well, that was easy to find. 30 stars! Yeah, so this seems like a pretty easy level. It does get a bit harder, and now the music kicks in. Is 
Isn't this music amazing or what? And now we've got the conveyor ropes working against us sometimes. And yep, that's a well-hidden bonus barrel. 30 bananas, oh boy. Oh, I thought it was going to be buzzers on the conveyor ropes. No, it's just conveyor ropes. The banana missions aren't too bad as long as there are no enemies. They're just tedious, if anything. Okay. This one seems a bit excessive. I mean, I barely made it in time, and I had like 50 seconds to begin with or something like that. I will say this level is so much easier with Dixie Cone than Kitty Cone. Again, because of her ponytail twirl. Oh! Okay. Apparently, Kitty Cone cannot grab onto the very beginning of horizontal ropes very easily. That's not fair. <laughs> oh! Why did I do that? <laughs> Probably because I thought the coin was down there. If memory serves, the coin is on a very low platform in one part. Nice shooting, kitty. Whoo! Couple of really tough jumps in this level, but it's all in all a pretty simple and easy and fun one. Okay, that one buzzer is in a very cheap location. Ah, oh, I forgot about. Oh, yep, there's the coin. It can be hard telling which direction the conveyor ropes are moving in occasionally. Oh no. Alright. Man, those buzzers are just in just the wrong place so that it's super hard to get past them. I'm sure that's probably the point. Because that's really the only hard part of the level. yourself. Whoosh! Whoosh! Aha! There we go. Never mind.
Time to go backwards for a bit. Man, it is hard for Dixie Comb to throw those up. But on that note, we're getting we're making super good progress for the game. We only have a few hero coins left. Baffles Code Room. Hey, hi there, Dixie. How are you doing? The name's Baffle, Master of Code. I've got a problem at the moment. I can't break a code that I've been working on. Maybe I could, should reflect on it. Hey, Dixie, is that a mirror you've got there? If it is, can I borrow it? I've got a hunch. No problem. Hey, look at this. It was a riddle written backwards. It says to open the gate that the two stones make eight. Well, what do you reckon that means? Can you figure this one out, Dixie? I reckon I can. And that's going to do it for this episode of Donkey Kong Country Free Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Hope to you tune in next time. We'll be continuing the Chaos Core, going to the Creepy Caverns. This is a level that has definitely got made harder for the GBA version. Have a great day, and God bless.